a former doctor for the U.S. Olympic gymnastics team who is accused of molesting at least 125 girls and young women has pleaded guilty to multiple charges of UAL assault. Larry Nasser admitted abusing seven girls, three of whom were under the age of 13 at his home and data clinic in Michigan. In some cases, the assaults he committed were under the guise of treatment, but the 54-year-old has confessed his conduct had no legitimate medical purpose. Some of the alleged abuse victims who have reported claims against Nasser include U.S. Olympic gymnasts Ali Raisman, Michaela Maroney and Gabby Douglas. Nasser, who lost his medical license in April, now faces at least 25 years in prison, but the judge could set a minimum sentence as high as 40 years. Image Gabby Douglas, Ali Raisman and Michaela Maroney LR are among Nasser's accusers at Ingham County Circuit Court in Michigan. Nasser said he was horribly sorry for the offenses, which took place between 1998 and 2015. He added this was like a match that turned into a forest fire out of control. I pray the rosary every day for forgiveness. I want them to heal. I want the community to heal. During the hearing, victims testified that Nasser really abused them while they sought medical attention for gymnastics injuries. Judge Rosemary Aquilina said the disgraced doctor had used his position of trust in the most vile way to abuse children. She added I agree that now is a time of healing, but it may take them a lifetime of healing while you spend your lifetime behind bars thinking about what you did and taking away their childhood. Judge Aquilina added that Nasser's victims were superheroes for all of America, because this is an epidemic. Image victim Rachel Den Hollander described Nasser as a master manipulator following the hearing. Victim Rachel Den Hollander said she was grateful for the army of women that has stopped a pedophile. The former USA gymnastics athlete added Nasser is a consummate narcissist. He's a master manipulator. I don't believe there was anything sincere in what Larry said, other than his desire to refocus the attention on the good that he believed he did today. Meanwhile, alleged victim Larissa Boyce said it was really hard to look at Nasser in the courtroom. This was a man we trusted. He's admitting what he did was wrong and evil. Nasser is set to be sentenced on the 12th of January, and his 125 victims will be able to speak during that hearing. He has been charged with similar crimes in a neighboring county, and is also awaiting sentencing in a federal court on childography charges.